So in this session, we'll be going ahead with the, uh, the table maintenance generator. In the table maintenance generator, what exactly we'd like to do is, we'd like to update data, update multiple rows of data, update multiple rows of data uh, on, a, on a single screen, which is not possible in, in, uh, in, in, in general update uh, from SC11. So what we'll do is we'll first maintain data uh, table maintenance generator for a particular table and see how it works. So for this, let me choose one particular table here, S11, and I'll, I'll go for something ZVIP stack. Now here we have customer map. So if at all, if you would like to update that data, go into this. And if you want to update the data, at any given point of time, we can update the data only from a single screen. So single row of data can be updated and you will not even see what you have updated in the previous record. So for that, to avoid that kind of confusions, SAP has given us a option of maintaining it through table maintenance generator. The transaction code for this is SM30. I'll just show you uh, how it works. So we have here ZVIP underscore customer details. This is the table that we have here. And uh, we'll go ahead with maintain. If you click on maintain, I go for MAT here. And if I try to maintain it, it says does not exist because we have not maintained the table maintain generator for this. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we have to go and maintain the table maintenance generator so that we can update the data. Let me show you how the data can be updated. If at all, if you, if you maintain it, for say customer department, if you maintain, you have a single screen so you can maintain the data here like this. This is the process. Because for this customer MAT, we don't have it. We have to maintain it. For that, we need to go to S11 table, go to utilities and table maintenance generator is what we need to click. This is what, this is something which we have to do. The authorization group and MC and if you check it in the drop down, it will allow everyone to maintain it. But if, if you don't want everyone to maintain it, you want only a specific number of people to maintain it, you have to give a particular authorization group, only those people will be able to maintain it. The function group, if you already have created it, it's fine. Otherwise, if you're not created, you have to go ahead and create in SCAT. Let me show you how to create a function group. So since ZBIP FG1 is already there, I'll go for FG10. Let me see if it is there. It does not it does not exist. You want to create yes. New function group. Hello. New function group. Yes. Hello.
సవాల్ యా ఎఫ్ జి 10 ఇస్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ క్రియేటెడ్ నౌ వి హావ్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఎఫ్ జి 10 నౌ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద వన్ వి హావ్ సో వి విల్ గో హెడ్ అండ్ మేక్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ గ్రూప్ విచ్ వి హావ్ జస్ట్ నౌ క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద టేబుల్ మెంటర్ ఇన్ జనరేటర్ హియర్ ఐ గో ఫర్ జెడ్ వి ఐ పి ఎఫ్ జి 10 విచ్ హావ్ జస్ట్ నౌ క్రియేటెడ్ అండ్ వన్ స్టెప్ యు విల్ గెట్ ఓన్లీ ఓన్లీ సింగిల్ స్క్రీన్ but you get two step you will be having this two screens okay so now i'm just saving it like that and uh, just click on create i think fg10 has not been successfully created or what zvit fg10 right okay i just need to activate this Okay. Uh, I just missed activating it. Now we can make use of that. It will be identified. Now we just need to click on this create button. Save. So we have successfully created the table maintenance unit. So once we have done that, we can go ahead and um, now maintain the table maintenance generator from the sm30 transaction so let's go to the sm30 transaction and this will go for maintain so now that we have maintained it we can we can go for that and we go for since this i have selected as two two screens okay when i click new entries it will come here it will come to the second screen if you have, if you selected a first one screen and last time when we have done it in the previous uh, example we, we could have maintained it here so as per the requirement and as per the comfort of the project we can go for two 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 steps or single step and material purchase is mat1 phone number is 9888 email id is uh, a@g.com so just save it this has been saved when you come back you can see that screen here you can see that so you can see the see the value you can update these values mat10 instead of mat1 you can mat10 and mat10 you can change that here and that again replicates here so in this way this is because this was a two two step one we are getting another pop up but previous example which we had done we had done single step in which we were able to update the data there itself so according to the requirement we can either go for table maintenance rate for a uh, single screen or with the two screens and in this you have to make sure you have you create a function group this is the process for creating the this is the process for creating the main table maintenance unit having said this you can also maintain multiple tables at single screen that is about table maintenance uh, that is about maintenance view which we will talk about that in the next talk